if we if we just focus on the question, so my question was, which one will you choose? Yeah, I I know you have given me hypothetical situation, but I came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I came into real world because I'm kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you have uh, you have very good perspective, and I like your values and principles. Yeah. Really, really. So really no, kind of I agree really. with you. Yeah. So let's just say hypothetically, you will go to the wedding because you're not very interested in the graduation, right? Or you will not go anywhere. <laughs> thing, you know, yeah, I will not yeah. go anywhere hypothetically. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing really well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You you are late, so I thought I don't know if uh, today a lot of learners are missing the session. So I thought maybe you're also not available. Uh, but anyway, um, so my name is Aparna. Welcome back to Clapingo. All right. So Anand, why don't we start by uh, getting to know you a little bit better? Please introduce yourself. Uh, yes, as you know, my name is Anand Raj. So I'm an entrepreneur, like I'm running my own tutoring center. I have my own YouTube channel. I have my own website. So yeah, I'm doing several, I'm owning several things. And uh, apart from that, yes, I have a few hobbies. Like uh, I love to roam around. I love to sit quietly and not doing anything. Uh, I love traveling. Yeah. And uh, listening to audiobook, podcast, etc. Nice, nice. Oh, uh, so you think sitting quiet and doing nothing is a hobby? That's a very interesting uh, fact. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think people are missing it. People are missing it. I agree with you. I agree with you. And where are you from, Anand? I'm from Bihar. Okay, from Bihar. Okay, right. So, Anand, before we go ahead, uh, can you very quickly tell me what is your uh, reason or motivation for joining Clipping Go so that I have a better idea? <laughs> Yeah, I love uh, talking with people, meeting with people from all sorts of background, and I have mm. to improve my English as well. So yeah, I'm fulfilling all these purposes here. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, all right. And what is you said you have a tutoring center? Mm -hmm. What do you uh, do? You also teach? Yes, I'm a teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. So great. So Anand, do you? Uh, uh, want to uh, just give me a second yeah okay so did you go through today's session notes uh, yes the topic like for today? Today? yeah like it is a hypothetical situation if i would become six like that yeah so do you want to talk about it or you want to talk about something else no i don't want to talk about it okay so let's discuss something else then all right yeah. Yeah. okay <clears throat> tell me uh about a time in your life when you had to make a difficult choice or if I put it in a different way, uh, you were in a dilemma. Do you understand what a dilemma is? You yeah, understand. Right? Yeah. So, uh, so suppose, I'll give you a situation, okay? Suppose uh, tomorrow is your graduation, but mm -hmm. tomorrow mm -hmm. is also your cousin's wedding, right? Mm -hmm. So, two mm -hmm. very important events. So yeah. this is a dilemma, right? So mm -hmm. tell me, talk to me about it. What would you choose? Why would you choose? How would you feel? So tell me about this in five, six sentences. Now, see, uh, I I know the importance of both these situations, right? So uh, in one hand, you have your cousin's wedding. Uh, on the other hand, you have your uh, what graduation, right? So it is a matter of career, right? So uh, but I, I don't feel like, you know, both these situations are gonna, you know, impact me. I could do anything or I, even I could sleep. Okay. I will not go anywhere. Right. So yeah, I'm a kind of person. I would not go anywhere. Yeah. Because I don't like, I mean, you know, my cousin seems very important for me because I could take part in graduation next year. Right. And, uh, mm -hmm. as far as my Life is concerned, I don't believe in any certificate because when I started teaching, I was very young. I had no certificate, but I came up, you know, I made my institute big just within a few years, right? So mm. a kind of person who doesn't believe in any certificate. So I do not need it because I can socially prove just by, you know, doing my acting that, yeah, I could do better than being a 
having a certificate right so and as far as my cousin's wedding is concerned i don't love wedding right because that i don't like that buzzing sound you know that showing off for just for a day right i love such kind of wedding where you know bride and groom comes a few family members comes you know they hand join hand together and they just you know say they like you know they go and live peacefully i don't you know love that thing society is showing off you know bringing so many relatives you know showing off whole mohalla you know dancing on the road like you know it seems like they have done something miraculous on this earth and that's why they yeah. actually celebrating their wedding so much i don't feel any point in celebrating wedding wedding should be very calm you know keep calm just you know love each other there should be no show off but more than more than anything else wedding is just show off and it is matter of status for bride and groom family both because you know a uh, bride family want to give as much as the head possible like dowry possible to groom family and sometimes groom family want to give as much as you know a uh, take as much as uh, you know dowry is possible and i'm not talking about this situation only even in love marriage you know uh, there there are few people who arrange it right so they also go with the same process why do need that much you know drama around them wedding doesn't uh, yes anna so i agree with all of your points Uh, but uh, if we if we just focus on the question, so my question was, which one will you choose? Yeah, I I know you have given me hypothetical situation, but I came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into, yeah, I came into real world because I'm kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you have uh, you have very good perspective, and I like your values and principles. Yeah. Really, really. So no, I'm kind of I agree with you. Yeah. So let's just say hypothetically, you will go to the wedding because you're not very interested in the graduation, right? Or you will not go anywhere. <laughs> saying, you know, yeah, I will not yeah. go anywhere hypothetically. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. That's great. Okay, uh, nice perspective. Didn't expect it, but okay. So uh, before uh, we go ahead, very quickly, I'm going to ask you the meaning of two words, and then I want you to make a sentence. Is that okay with you? If you no, don't know okay. the meaning, it's fine. Okay. Is this a very small uh, exercise to improve your vocabulary? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. uh so what is the meaning of astonish a s t o n i s h i know surprise take an aback yes. exactly and please make a sentence with it uh when i saw sadvi with ram i was very astonished okay fair enough okay let's go to the second word what is remorse R E M O R S E. Remorse means uh, regret. Regret. So you feel bad about something you've done, right? You've yes. been mean to somebody, so you have that remorse. Exactly. Mm. Uh, again, please make a sentence with it. Uh, I hit my brother very hard, and I'm feeling remorse now for him. Very good. Very good. Okay, and do you know what does trip down the memory lane mean? Trip down the memory lane means you know to engross in thinking or something about the past. Yeah. Okay. So when you say trip down the memory lane is like when you think about the past, maybe your childhood yeah. nostalgia, right? Nostalgia. So yeah. Like engross in you know past memories. Yeah. Yes, so this is like a, a idiom in English, right? Like a muhabra. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Uh, so, Anand, tell me. You said you uh, want to focus on pronunciation mainly, uh, mm -hmm. because I was noticing that overall your English is pretty good. Your articulate, your fluency is good. Um, but are you doing anything anything special to improve your pronunciation? Apart, yes, I mean, yeah. of course, apart from plus. Uh, Kapingo, please tell me. Yes, yes, yes. I have some exercises <laughs> that I have been uh, doing, and uh, like mm -hmm. uh, I'm breaking up all the sentences on words. You know, like there is uh, some few mm -hmm. teachers on YouTube that have been teaching how to you know break down the each and every word and how mm -hmm. each and every word is being pronounced because you know the letters that we read is not the real sound. Okay, so Correct. I have. one has to learn ipa to understand the 
you know, true sound of English. So, like, I'm working on it right right now. Okay, and have you seen an improvement? Yeah, I have seen a wonderful improvement. We're just within few months. That is very good. And also, uh, I'm sure you said you read a lot of, uh, hear a lot of audiobooks and podcasts. That is amazing, and that is what I suggest to most of my learners. Mm-hmm. Because it is passive learning and keeps on going, right? Also, yeah. for pronunciation, what I personally uh, really would suggest is to watch English news. Mm-hmm. That really helps. Uh, okay. So, very quickly, I'll just give you a prompt and then I'll give you f- the final um, feedback. Actually, feedback mostly I've given, but let's see. Um, talk to me about somebody who has inspired you the most in your life. One person. You can okay, take a couple talking, of seconds to think and you can yeah. tell me. If you're talking about one person, then yeah. But uh, lots of individuals have, you know, influenced me. And they're not influenced me, kind of have learned lessons from him. Because these individuals told, you know, like, one uh, do not have to follow them, you know, influence them. Just, you know, one can learn from every individual. Because each and every individual are, you know, kind of uh, unique in this world, right? So, yes, one man that is also has influenced me a lot. Okay. So, Mm -hmm. I know this man that he was something beyond the, you know, I think, mind. Okay. Please tell me about him. Yeah, he is a kind of philosopher, you know. Lots of people tell lots of things about him. Yeah, somebody consider him a spiritual leader, guru. And uh, mm-hmm. somebody considered him philosopher, but I think you know he had everything in him. So, kind of you know, a fulfilled man. So mm-hmm. I admire him. Yeah. And have you learned uh, life lessons from him, or certain things you have picked up from him? Yeah, of course I've learned one thing, you know. And he, mm-hmm. I remember his one quote: "Life begins where fear ends." So yeah, I definitely trying to imbibe it in my mm-hmm. life. And I've realized, yeah, when fear ends, then only life starts. Before that, it is oh. dilemma that we are living in life. That is that is a great uh, perspective. Nice. Okay, so he, you think he really inspires you? He's one of those people who inspires you. Yeah, like lots of individuals, you know, inspired me. I have seen, you know, so many. And these individuals have nothing to... They do not want to inspire people in society. I've seen, you know, they have been living... They have been following their own way. They had no dream of inspiring, like, you know, people, politicians inspires you or your society, you know, people like fake gurus inspires. These people had not any dream of inspiring people. They have been just doing their life. So, you know, sometimes I also don't believe in this word like inspiration. We are unique. Everybody's unique. We do not need inspiration. We need learning. Okay, so in a way you're saying you don't believe in um, sort of external push or motivation. Yes, yeah. You're a self-motivated person. Yeah, right. 